Whereabouts traffic, Mike Light 6257 lines up and rolls, runway 17 for a departure to the south. Gonna do a low pass. My friend's filming, so he might want a a low level. Today we're actually dealing with a busy air circuit at Kabulcha, which will come at the end of this flight. And um, that's when my attention will be fully turned to, of course, what's going on in the, in the area with air traffic. So I might seem a little bit distracted when that part of the video comes, if we get to record it, my batteries last long enough. And do stay tuned for um, little snippets of this flight as we track south. Our total flight time, I haven't actually looked at, should be an hour and a half, but we will be stopping about an hour, or about three quarters of an hour on the way down to um, have a coffee with Dave at Gimpy. Um, so we'll pull in there, we'll catch up and look at some of the scenery as we go. Actually, have a look forward. It's quite nice this morning. The road you see down there with the a lot of traffic, that straight stretch that's there, that's commonly referred to as the Bruce Highway. Now that Bruce Highway, from memory, stretches 1600 kilometers and is the main arterial link from Brisbane or even the Gold Coast to technically Brisbane to uh, Cairns way up in the north of Queensland I, I can see you and I'm due east coming up to Teddington Weir well that's nice I don't see you Look low. Yeah, I got you now. Do you want to go around the back of Bopple? Okay, okay, west side of Bopple. Yeah, roger. Actually, I might go over the top of Bopple. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Are you following the river or are you on not that far west? I'm following the Bruce Highway, isn't that what you do? IFR. Okay. Otherwise I'd get lost. Well, it doesn't look like a lot of uh, seaplane options on Tanana Creek. Oh well, now you know. <laughs> I'm going to summit Mount Bopple. Oh, well, someone's not here as rock, you may as well do Mount Bopple. Yeah, why not? We did Mount Gananaman. Or Bopple Mountain, as it's correctly called. Yeah, and we did Mount Gananaman, or is that Gananaman Mountain? No, it's Mount Gananaman. It is Mount Gananaman. I'm too confused. But what is 
Dave do real copy, does he? Uh, real instant. Oh, I was about to ask, oh, what sort of beads does he have? My Kona ones. Just my style. At least they're not Ness Cafe ones. Or well, caterers blend. Or oh, that international roast is lovely. Is the peak the pointy one or the blunt one? The pointy one's probably slightly taller, is it? And we can buzz that lady's house at the fairy shop at Bobble. <laughs> she might think it's a UFO. <laughs> Maribor, traffic either 7650, rolling 17, Maribor. Always wanted to climb Mount Popple. You won't need to now. Yeah, good as that. They're not allowed to either at the because it's an environmental park or something. Well, can't you get commission, uh, permission to do it? No, you'd have to do it by stealth. Do you need one of those fancy American stealthy bomber things for, for doing that? Yeah, no one would know you were there. Dirty air downstream, Robert. Yeah, where are you now? I'm behind you, probably half a, I don't know, 500 metres. Directly behind, 6 o'clock? Yeah, directly behind and low. Yeah, I stayed high, just to be sure. Current altitude is 2,200 feet. This is Bopal Mountain. Okay? There's all the Bopal trees. What? Popular? No, Bopal, as in Bopal Nut. Which colour are those ones? Maybe green. Maribor traffic either. 56 departing circuit crosswind 17, front lines are once our mountain bubble and the bubble nut tree, which is the Queensland nut tree. What are those yellower kind of trees then? I think they're flowers. But they're not the bubble trees, eh? I don't think so. So which ones are the bubble trees, the green ones? I think you'd be lucky to pick them out. Well, I can see pines down there. Are they hoop pines? I think so. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, that was quite lovely and picturesque. I might go to the next mountain. Uh, straight ahead, there's two towers on it. This is very cool. Should have brought me camera. I brought two. You drop one and it's all good. Insurance. There's, yeah, that's right. Hey, that's right. And there's also a runway before me too. I've heard about, known about, but never seen. Isn't that Sean's runway? Sean who? Sean the cat, Sean the sheep. Sean Kelly. The uh, seaplane man. My wife often tells me I'm over the top. Poor, poor 
Lady. Oh, I'm getting ridge lift now. Getting a nosebleed. There's a plane in front of me. What is that, uh, river or direct? Yeah, river's fun. Oh. River's too far west at the moment, we'll, we'll catch up to it shortly. Yeah, we're just going to head towards Curra. Just go the Bruce Highway, I guess. Just pull into that survey down there, there's enough concrete there to land on, I think, for fuel. Get a pie at Canelda. <laughs> and a coffee. Oh no, we better get the coffee at Dave's. Coffee time. No prop. <laughs> Gonna be traffic mark light sixty five seven. Rolls, runway uh, one four, Gimpy. Give me traffic, Marco 6257 Airborne Runway 14 departing to the south, 1000 feet. Give me traffic. You there, Doug? Go on, on chat. Likewise. That's good then, I'm about two miles behind. I've waited for that other aircraft to land behind, uh, behind you. Yeah, he was a bit cheeky. I'm going up to cloud base. I want a bit more smoother air. Okay, you do that. Kabulcha, traffic microlight 6257 is clear of all runways, Kabulcha. That's my bag boy. That's my chauffeur. Everyone needs a good chauffeur. I haven't found one yet. There's a new hat. How long how old's these hangers? Perry, look at the camera. This is coffee and Hello. Snacks. Everyone's here, Doug's here, Snacks. Richard's there, I'm here, and Steve's there, and the aircraft's over there, one of those, right in the back, right in the back, never to be flying again. <laughs> that was a good flight, turbulent yeah, as, never had it like that before, well not quite, but the wind's going to get up now and the wind's going to get so worse, so white, white glad we're here, glad to be on the ground, okay. we're going to enjoy a coffee now together and um, a bit.
we've safely made it back from Caboolture back to Maryborough. I now have an empty hangar, but the Sea Ray that we're flying back in is now safe and sound back in its nest. I was going to say thank you, Doug, for today. Coming soon. Well, as I've already said, we've got back to Maryborough and the Sea Ray with Doug. And as you might be able to see behind me, there's a wind sock indicating wind. It's just really starting to pick up now. And this is the wind that's been chasing us all the way back from Caboolture. I just wanted to show you what's in my hangar now. It's kind of... Well, that space is empty, isn't it? Now, the secret is that that space will not be empty for more than two months. Within two months, that space will have another toy and all shall be revealed soon. There is a video coming out with some information and pictures of the new toy, which I hope you will enjoy to see soon. Anyway, that will end today's adventure. It's been a big day. Probably feel a little bit sunburned flying back in the sea ray into the sun with Doug. And I'll have a good sleep tonight. So we will see you soon. There won't be much flying for the next month or two, but we certainly will come up with some other ways of creating videos and um, things for you to watch on YouTube. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and follow the Adventures of Crime Box. And it's been a pleasure presenting today's adventure for you to enjoy. See you soon.